to quickly talk about the Octane Booster I'm using. Uh, in my area, what's readily available is 93 and 91 Octane. And I feel like for the Porsche Boxer project I'm doing, the Turbo Porsche Boxer, that's really not enough Octane. So I decided to go with Boostane. Uh, here's the, the can. It's an Octane Booster. This is um, a 32 ounce can. Right on the back of the can, it also tells you how much you need to mix to get your desired octane. And then there's also charts online that show you uh, more mixing ratios. For myself, I am generally getting 93 pump octane, and I want to shoot for 99 octane. But the ratios I'm about to show you will also work for 91 to 97 octane. So if you mix 0.3 ounces uh, of the boostane per gallon, uh, that will give you this conversion. Uh, so for 5 gallons, that's a little over 2 ounces. For 10 gallons of fuel, it's a little over 4.3 ounces. So what I've been doing is I take a 5-gallon racing fuel jug to the gas station, fill it up with 93, bring it back, and then, then I mix in a little over 2 ounces of, of the boostane. I err on the side of caution with that. Uh, again, I'm running 11.1 uh, compression ratio on the stock. Porsche Boxster and 5 PSI a boost. One side effect that people talk about with the Boostane is it'll turn some of your engine components orange. So I decided after 50 miles of using the Boostane to pull the spark plugs off of the engine and do a boroscope. Uh, I've yet to do the boroscope, but I do have the spark plug. And indeed, you can see on the insulator right there. It is orange, the electro looks perfectly fine, and uh, the other side where it strikes ground looks fine. Um, I think a lot of people run the boost team for, for a while and this doesn't really cause any issues, it's just one thing that people note about Octane Booster. And it's not just boost team that does this, it's other brands too. Uh, so far, I'm extremely happy uh, with how this is performing. I'm really pushing this engine to the limit, I don't have uh, any knock that I know of so far, and the engine isn't pulling any timing. Um, so, so far I'm happy and I'm going to keep running it and I'll probably keep mixing at these ratios uh, for 93 to 99. And I suppose I, you know, I could run 91 if I'm in a pinch and I'll just throw more boostane in to get the 99 octane. Okay, so five of the six cylinders actually look like this one, which looks pretty good. You can see some of the orange from the boostane. And I believe that's actually covering up quite a bit of the, the old carbon deposits. So it looks like it's rusty, but that's actually just the boostane that's, that's covering all of the, the carbon deposits underneath. You can see that one area that looks like exposed uh, aluminum. This might actually be from running a little too hot. Uh, again, I'm, my AFRs still aren't right. I'm running a little lean, but it doesn't look too bad from what I could tell. Uh, the whole piston looks quite good. No chips or dings, and the, the cylinder walls look pretty good. This is after 50 miles, so so far I'm quite happy with the way it's, it's looking uh, on these five cylinders. So the sixth cylinder, which is on the passenger side rear, looks like there's actually a little bit of damage. There's a little bit of a chip about the size of a fingernail on the crown of the piston and I, I'm not sure if this is from me adding the turbo I kind of doubt it since I've been so conservative and really haven't been stepping on it I believe it might be damaged uh, to the piston before I actually added the turbo it's right there on the right side of the screen it's a little chip less than the size of a fingernail Luckily, I, I did a compression test on all the cylinders, and they're all lining up and showing very well, very good. So I'm not too concerned about it right now, but I'm going to have to keep an eye on this damage and rebore scope later. Here's a better close-up of that damage. Just a small little chip. Uh, it doesn't look like it's, it's uh, deep into the cylinder or into the piston, and there are no scratches from that little chip. So I'll keep an eye on it. My suspicion is it was already there before I added the turbo, but we'll, I'll probably rebore scope in 50 miles and, and see uh, how it looks. 
All right, so there's an issue with one of the cylinders. It's not a major issue. It's just a small little little chip out of the piston crown. And I'm really, really hoping that this damage was there before I added the turbo. I'll come back and bore scope in maybe 50 miles. Uh, first, I really need to nail down this, this lean air to fuel ratio issue. It's running like 13 to 14 to one under, under wide open throttle. I'm not sure if it's because I'm running out of mass airflow sensor. Um, maybe the stock mass airflow sensor can't read flow that high. I did replace it with a different mass airflow sensor and that did not help it. I tried injectors on one side that didn't help the issue. Uh, so recently I, I installed a four bar pressure regulator from the stock 3.8 bar pressure regulator. So I'm going to see if that helps. If I'm still running lean, I'm going to need to, to tune the DME, uh, which is the Bosch DME 5.2.2. I'm really having issues reading the binary file and pulling out the maps. I, I have it off the car. I just can't find a way to actually pull the maps from the DME to, to tune those. So if anyone can help me with that, I'd really appreciate it. Um, if that, if I can't get anywhere with the, the stock ECU, I'm going to have to do a piggyback, like a mega squirt and put maybe a seventh injector in the, uh, the actual intake manifold and just make it based off a of boost and just dump a bunch more fuel in there to get closer to a, a rich air to fuel ratio that's safe for a turbo car. So if anyone can help me out with the project, maybe help me figure out if that damage to the piston is, is from pre-detonation or if it's you know a, a major concern. I'm not currently concerned because the compression, ratio, uh, the compression test results were good and I still have good compression, so I'll just keep an eye on it. So I appreciate everyone watching, and I will update here soon in the near future. Thank you.